the opposite of wealth is not poverty. Mm. It is justice. Mm. That actually when you have justice, mm. wealth is sorted. Mm. Because it should be redistribution. Mm. And this is why even when you talk about COVID vaccines, mm. it's not that Africa has done anything wrong not to have vaccines. No. It's that the world has faced, mm. has failed mm. to provide justice. Let's keep running through that. So we are still in the MDG era. So we are in the MDG era. Mm -hmm. So in mm -hmm. the MDG era, mm -hmm. Amrev now starts to do work in mm -hmm. maternal health, mm -hmm. child health, mm -hmm. water sanitation, mm -hmm. reducing infectious diseases, mm -hmm. and now grows, mm -hmm. starts to grow. It's mm -hmm. growing as a, a geography across Africa. Mm -hmm. It's growing area, areas of work, mm -hmm. and it's growing in numbers of mm -hmm. staff. Mm -hmm. So when I join mm -hmm. in 2015, mm -hmm. I find this organization that has grown through this mm -hmm. period, mm -hmm. rapidly grown mm -hmm. in 10 years, mm -hmm stretched in terms of organizational capacity mm. because as it grew, mm. it did not have enough resources mm. to grow its ICT, mm. to grow its policy. Mm. So it was just taking more work, mm. but it didn't grow its systems, mm. okay? Mm. And because of that, it was bleeding mm. heavily. So you're getting a lot of money, mm. but then you are not able, because this money is restricted. Mm. When the US government gives you money, mm. they don't give you money and say, here is 10 million, go mm. spend. Mm. They tell you this 10 million, spend this is how you're going this. to spend it. It's earmarked, to earmarked. one, two, three, four. And I want a receipt for every meeting mm. you hold. Mm. And I want this for everything. I want mm. a tender process for everything you mm. buy. Mm. And we allow you mm. to take 10% for running everything else you don't need to report to us. Okay? Mm. So because of this model, mm. you find an organization that's $100 million, mm. but it's spending 104 to run its activities. Oh, wow. So this four is a loss because you don't have anyone giving you the four. But you need the four because you need a headquarter. You need a CEO. No one is paying for the CEO. You need a CFO. No one is paying for that. Because that's a head not a program of, cost. Uh, head of programs. And you need a head of programs. Uh, you need ICT. And, yeah. You need a CTO. Nobody's paying for that. Right. Because they're like, here's money. You, we want you to do the following. Mm. We want you to take women for antenatal care. Mm. We want you to give children malaria mm. medicine. Mm. How you run it. Those are what are called direct costs. Those are direct costs. Mm. But the indirect costs mm. are minimal. Mm. Okay? But you need this structure. And because you're based in the South. Mm. They don't assume that it should be a lot. They don't assume it's a lot. They assume you are cheap because you are in Kenya. Which is a mis. Comple misinformed completely argument. misinformed yeah. because the organizations that uh, they are used to mm. are all based in Europe and mm. North America. Mm. And highly those organizations <laughs> are highly priced yeah. and those organizations also collect money mm. from fundraising. Yeah. And they run their office first yeah. before they before, spend the money before on they send programs. The, they, they send the pocket change. To to, to, exactly. <laughs> but when you come to this side, yeah, they want the reverse. I have to go to the streets and ask for money to run our headquarters. Where is yeah. that money going to oh, come from? Dear. Okay. Yeah. So you are actually recovering mm. the indirect from all these funders mm. and then trying to squeeze it mm. to run a global organization mm. that has the same mandate as mm. one based in Europe or North mm. America, mm. okay? Mm. But now it's based here. Mm. You need the same quality of CFO. Mm. You need the same quality of CEO. Nothing should be less. Nothing should be less. Yeah. The mm. fact that you're based in Africa, I mm. mean now mm. you, should, you shouldn't have international caliber stuff. Stuff and structures and, and systems, systems and, and practices and tools. So yeah. that was what was ailing mm. the organization. Mm. It was bleeding. So in... It, Operationally that, Operationally, that was it. But yes. you're also entering at a time when it's SDGs that so are coming So at the in. same time I'm entering, mm. I'm entering 2015, mm. June. Mm. At the same time, there is a meeting in Addis Ababa mm. for the transition from MDG to SDG. Mm -hmm. Addis Ababa Action Agenda, mm -hmm. 2015. Mm. And the discussion here is that the MDGs have been donor-aided. Very donor aided, very donor, donor directed, dependent. Yeah. donor dependent. Yeah. It's been all about aid. Yeah. Now that has been seen mm. that is not sustainable. Mm. The, the reduction in maternal mortality, mm. reduction in child mortality mm. has happened, yes, mm. but it's happened more mm. where domestic resources and co country socioeconomic growth was stronger, mm -hmm. not where aid was, 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 was more. more. Yeah. Okay? Mm. China mm. was the biggest contributor to childhood mortality drop. Before? During MDG. During the 2000 to, to, to 2015 2015. period, yeah. It was the biggest contributor to reduction in poverty. Mm. It was the biggest contributor to reduction in child mortality. Mm. But was there aid going to China? No. No. They oh, hell, to China. Africa. We respect you. Exactly. <laughs> For that so, period. So, yeah. the question then was, mm. why don't we, when you look at the overall expenditure, mm. 
in health. Mm. And you look at maybe you say a country spends $100 per mm. person per year mm. for health. Mm. Where does that money come from? You find actually 30% comes from government. So internal resources. Inter yeah. Those, like are, tax. those are taxes. Yes. Yeah. Well, largely taxes. Largely actually. taxes. Yeah. 30% comes from donors. Mm -hmm. The other 30% comes from people's pockets through out-of-pocket expenditure. Okay. Yeah. The money we pay when you go to the chemist. To the hospital. The harambe yeah. we do when you're mm -hmm. admitted. Mm -hmm. So that people are actually financing the health system. So it's a really huge burden on, on the people. On, and that's on, how the people, health is one of the biggest causes of poverty. Yeah. Because when you're sick, mm. everyone in your household stops working. Yeah. If, you are, if your wife is sick, yeah. You can't work. Yeah. If your husband is sick, you can't work. If your That's child is true. sick, you can't work. That's You're true. now in this process of doing harambees, yeah. collecting, you know, going yeah. to do this and that, yeah. selling your land so that you can pay hospital yeah. bills. Yeah. Now, so the discover or the, uh, the the clarity was that aid is such a small part of a country's health system. It is only contributing 20%. Mm. 80% is actually individuals mm. selling their cows. Selling oh their goodness. land, selling their chicken, their property, their property mm. to finance the health system, mm. and the other part is the government trying to struggle mm. to support the mm. individual. Mitigate this, yeah. So how can we be talking about reduction of child mortality mm. and maternal mortality by only talking about the twenty percent that's coming from donors? Mm. We have to expand the agenda mm. and talk about now this other eighty percent. Mm. How do we use the eighty percent mm. better mm. so that now we can have holistic healthcare? So that the donor twenty mm. is only catalytic; it's mm. not the part the world is discussing. Mm. Mm. then that's how we move now from MDGs to mm. Sustainable Development Goals, mm. Mm. where the domestic resources mm. became critical mm. to the conversation. And that now is the universal health, health coverage. coverage conversation. Yeah. Because universal health coverage mm. is about domestic resources and how to finance healthcare in the in, country, yeah. using the resources available, yeah. and asking yourself, this chunk that people pay by selling their land, mm. how can you actually tell the people to pay a small amount, mm. you pull it together through NHIA for mm. something, mm. you add the government taxes, mm. and therefore you have a holistic financing agenda for mm. health mm. so that donors are only mm. adding. So the conversation mm. moved from being donor-driven to being domestic resource-driven. Yeah. Mm. That's when I'm joining AMREF. Mm. Mm. Okay? What a time. What a time. <laughs> but also, mm. a really monumental mm. time because mm. it is then when I pick on the agenda of mm. universal health coverage. Because I realize... As well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I listen to the Disababa agenda mm. Mm. and I'm like, if we do not mm. change the conversation mm. to universal health coverage, mm. to domestic resources, mm. then we are mm. going to be relevant. Mm. So I start talking about universal health coverage. You become the voice. And then I develop mm. to become the voice. Mm. But when I was starting it, mm. I'm just talking about it and at the same time mm. an old board member mm. of of Italy mm -hmm. in the AMREF Health Africa Italy mm. called um, Simon mm. Thomas Simon mm. come to visit Kenya mm -hmm. you know these old you know um, older people mm. always had pet projects mm. in Africa mm. you know the way it is you mm. know we're mm. helping Africa yeah. have a pet project yeah, yeah. in South Sudan I'm a sponsor for something I'm a sponsor. so yeah. they keep coming even yeah. when they leave the board they're still right. visiting right. so he passes by Nairobi which is a good thing it's a good thing yeah. he passes by Nairobi mm. and um, doesn't find me mm. and he leaves a book there's mm. a book he had carried mm. It's called The Great Escape mm. by a guy called Angus Deaton. Mm -hmm. A-N-G-U-S-D-E-A-T-O-N. Mm -hmm. The Great Escape. The Great Escape. Mm. He leaves the book mm -hmm. and he writes a note mm. in it mm. and says, one of the greatest reads, I mm. hope you read it. Mm. He leaves it on my desk mm. and travels back to Italy. Mm. So I come, I find the book, mm -hmm. and I decide to read it. Mm. And that was my transformational moment in global health. Tell me about it. Now. Mm. The Great Escape mm. talks is written by this Angus Deaton. Angus Deaton is an economist. Mm -hmm. And he talks and reflects about how Europe had the Great Escape from disease mm. and death. Right. And he links up that with economy, mm. with nutrition. Mm. Starts talking around how Netherlands has the tallest people <laughs> because of nutrition and how that determines people's health. Stavs talks about equity, talks about equity, talks about how even in countries that are rich like the U.S., talks about that if you look at maternal mortality in poor communities in a state in the U.S., it will be worse than maternal mortality in Uganda. Mm. So talks to link wealth and justice. Mm. And that's when I start to realize, actually, that when you talk about wealth, mm. 
the opposite of wealth is not poverty. Mm. It is justice. Mm. That actually when you have justice, mm. wealth is sorted. Mm. Because it should be redistribution. Mm. And this is why even when you talk about COVID vaccines, mm. it's not that Africa has done anything wrong not to have vaccines. Yeah. It's that the world has faced, mm. has failed mm. to provide justice. Mm. Because once you provide justice, mm. wealth is no longer a consideration. Yeah. If you think about it, yeah. somebody who is sleeping on the street tonight hungry, mm. They are sleeping tonight hungry, not because they don't have money, mm. because the government has failed to provide that person justice. Mm. Because the government collects taxes to redistribute through justice. Yeah. So if you're sleeping hungry in a country, you are actually a shareholder of the resources of the country. Consciousness. Social yes. justice. Yes. <laughs> Health. Yes. So this Equity. <laughs> aspect of capitalism yeah. that... Those who have, yeah. have because of their merit. Yeah. And those who don't have, yeah. don't have because they are lazy, right. is wrong. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because when you're born in a country, in a continent, in mm. a world, mm. you are a shareholder mm. of the resources. Already, by default. By default. Mm. And therefore, the one system that a sh government, the reason government arose, mm. was to play the single most important role of redistribution. Yeah. Equitably. So Equitably. Mm. So people vote for government mm. so that the government oversees natural resources mm. and redistributes mm. them. Mm. Okay? So that all may have. That all may have. That mm. is why mm. when a family has wealth, mm. they appoint a trustee mm. to ensure that when the owners of that wealth in the family pass on, mm. it is redistributed to the children mm. of that family. Mm. So that trustee is mm. government. Mm. So nobody mm. is not a shareholder of the resources of a country. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody is not a shareholder of the resources of the world. Mm. So even as we divide governments, mm. we just divide them mm. for convenience. Mm. Mm. It's for convenience. Yeah, essentially. Exactly. Mm. But the oil in Saudi Arabia, mm. the oil in the U.S. Mm. is owned holistically by everyone. Yeah. Because when it's used badly yeah. and it is emitting carbon emissions... The effect is universal. It's universal. Mm. So this idea of justice and redistribution... Mm is therefore justice. It is. So when you see somebody sleeping hungry, mm. it's a failure of justice. Yeah. It's not that they are lazy they don't have work. Yeah. Yeah. So this kind of starts to mm. appeal to me mm. Mm. and kind of connects with my overall mm. values. Mm. Mm. And now I start to oh. talk about UHC from UHC. that point of view. So this entry to... This, this is a... Also, all of this is happening in 2015. 15, 15, 16. 16. Yes. So this your period of entry here mm. is l completely life changing. It's like for you, like it's. It's like a cosmic coincidence. It is. Yeah. It like is. A cosmic and then coincidence. Not forgetting that everything else you've done yes. has, is also coming together it's coming for together. you. Like yes. all at the same time is coming the, together. Your entire all the experiences. Yes. Plus, then this has shifted just from, you know, uh, country, regional, East Africa region, regional. Yes. This is now global. This is now global. And your entire leadership journey has now climaxed. It's, it's at this. coming together. Yeah.